Jovela i COVID-19 ungepise ematuba egu kula kakulu na unga itoli. Kanjalo, kubega negu natakatle ema ARVs guze kungipeli nani le HIV emtimben. Logo kungepisa ematuba egu ingisela i HIV gulo munye. Hashtag Jova Nawe. Lomlaye to ema sonfo ni ule tselwa litigule tempilo liba mbisene na necha na mslapsange ene. Ene, 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 ene. It has just gone 8 o'clock Central African time. Good evening and welcome to the News Bulletin at 8, brought to you by Swatton TV. My name is Adebo Ngoan, alongside is Noon Matlabiso Ngambole. Thank you so much indeed for choosing to stay with us. We're coming to you live from our Hospital Hill Studios in Babane. Let's take a look at our top stories. His Majesty King Imswat III says His Majesty's Correctional Services Department is a true example of having modernized and developed infrastructure. The Minister of Tourism and Environmental Affairs says merging humanitarian services and tourism can have a positive impact as it can result in increased visits by tourists into the country. And the Chief Executive Office of Swatin Communications Commission in Vlaoen Bilamini urges online teaching graduates to create online content, especially for learners with disabilities. And now the news in detail. His Majesty King Mswat III says His Majesty's Correctional Services Department is a true example of having modernized and developed infrastructure. Speaking during the celebration of this year's Correctional Day, His Majesty pleaded with the nation to follow on the department's footsteps and make sure that the country's infrastructure is not destroyed. <laughs> The arrival of the Commissioner General in Chief, His Majesty King Mswati III, marked the beginning of the day. This happens after a few years without celebrating this day due to the COVID 19 pandemic. His Majesty's Correctional Services was established in 1964 under the name His Majesty's Prison Services. In September 1995, His Majesty renamed the department to His Majesty's Correctional Services. The transformation brought about a number of changes not only in the name, but in the way the department operated. Following His Majesty's arrival, the parade displayed a number of drills before the Commissioner General in Chief. This day provided the department with a platform to unite with members of the public and celebrate all the good work done by the department. The theme for this year's Correctional Day is modernizing correctional infrastructure towards improved interventions. The theme is largely aligned to the call by African penitentiary organizations where correctional leaders across the continent have been awakened to ensure that correctional facilities are structurally conducive for the containment of inmates. His Majesty King Mswati III applauded the department for choosing a right and relevant theme for the day. His Majesty said the theme is informative and a lesson to the nation as well. technology. I go shisa taki o ngoba logo backward with that world mentality. Si tukota genekbona we go shle stubulo nani sbegembele nani ni ya bonala we go shle stubulo 
kuwe abona gala ini njomba nje tinselo sesfile la kona kubona alsa wewe kutsi kune tinselo le tinsha le tibona la wewe kutsi ngle ti ngeniswe kule miyango wewe kutkonsisa la bula babi neti kwe kwe logo kwe atumise kwa wewe kutsi na uhamba nesikubulo pinzi na uasi si hambisana na so inle sikubulo nembala na usubu wa tendo kubona alsa wewe kutsi ka Sambi sana na sole sustubulo kui involente la kuleo mapoizo. The king and Ingwenya Mafeda pleaded with the nation not to take security forces as enemies, but instead work together with them in ensuring peace and security. Mapoizo alo kutle ngwe kutile msebendi lenenda go. Iyange tetela ektule ni welive. Iyange tetela ewoze ni imisebendi Ia wanza ewe ni ngobalive na lise li tindile, lise li ngekutula, lia ukula, wende lugo kutsi nshonale tinsle lule skuluma ngato, le ni bona se kutsi nbege skubulo, tia upagama kakulu, tive tinyendi, lugo mkonga si sive, funa ka si bambisane, umsebendi nelive lito pumelela, ni mabutu onge asebende katlea mapoizo. The Right Honourable Prime Minister, Pio Paslamini, before asking the King to address the nation, said the department is doing a great job before a person is found guilty until the person is found guilty throughout the correction process of that particular person. Segupareme te pepa la pangoba. Jengoba se ishi ito infu na kusechendi so atabo ngondo ngondo. Segukona ne make ete la fuluwa nga kusi nji unyasi upresel patin. So usi lo loka si la sate ti la pe miyango. Abone go onke lo gwende la gola nge kasi. Sekisho kutsi si lo skulu. Te pepa se ti pareme ngwe nyama. The Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Polile Shakantu, said the department is working tirelessly in developing in the various sectors under it. The minister also highlighted that the department has established four state-of-the-art correctional facilities, of which three of them are completed. His Majesty's Correctional Services presented their Majesties with gifts, including a check worth 50,000 Malangeni towards Pilani Maswadi. On the news, I am Polile Mazia at Matapa. The Minister for Tourism and Environmental Affairs says merging humanitarian services and tourism can have a positive impact as it can result in increased visits by tourists into the country and in turn boosting the country's economy. The Minister was speaking at Malandelas and Malkans during the induction of uh, presidents of the various Rotary clubs in the country and welcoming of new Rotarians. The Minister of Tourism and Environmental Affairs, Moses Villagati, says the Rotary Club can make a major contribution to the tourism sector if they can incorporate tourism in their work. The Minister says they are already aware of the good work done by the Rotary Club in the environment, health as well as education sectors. I think we can do something about it. There are those things which you can do to make sure that at least there is stability worldwide when it comes to climate change. Otherwise, the future generations will curse us. We have a number of opportunities in the Rotary, I mean, in the, in the tourism sector to make sure that we can achieve more. Um, what is exciting about tourism is that just one tourist that comes, he employs about seven to ten people could be in a hotel, cleaning, the food, the whatever. So it's an exciting field. And it usually captivates well with the youngsters. What with social media that's there now. So we can do more. Let us revive our economy. And we can only revive that through the things that we can do. And each one of you can become a tourist attractor 
The Director General of the Rotary Clubs in the Southern Africa region, Kukima Kunyane Kwashi, says Rotary Clubs can only thrive if the administration exudes integrity. The comfort and care philosophy after you've attracted your members. In other words, make sure they are comfortable in your clubs. Make sure that you take care of their needs in your clubs so that they can stay. Ensure that the meetings are vibrant and relevant. The Rotary Club conferred the Minister of Health, Lizing Kosi and Moses Vilagati with honorary membership. The leaders of the Rotary Clubs were advised to uphold the core values of the organization, which includes selfless service to improve the welfare and livelihoods of the communities they work with. For Eswatini TV News, Nelson Enlangamandla with Mbongwa Dube Mathanya. The Minister for Public Works and Transport, the Chief Ndlalas Andwando, says the ministry is currently engaging the pro-base contractors since there are so many concerns about the pro-base. The minister was speaking in Parliament when the Ministry of Public Works Portfolio Committee was debating the ministry's report for the year 2021-2022 financial year. Members of Parliament during the debate raised the issue regarding poor road infrastructure in some areas across the country. Some members of Parliament requested that the Minister address the issue of potholes, especially in the Babane Manzini Highway. <laughs> Lo <laughs> The Minister for Public Works and Transport, Chief Dalsha Zandwando, says he is engaging the pro-base contractor to try and ensure that they maintain the pro-base. The pro-base Len as a schoolma ni engaged in a contractor personal. Could see service ya call and product yell. A denai kangisa, now a winner matenda, but now sive as a sacha bully letting it in zao. But is over getting a tabo, papins among a shore shabuzi, by a yabu let out in zao with no matter effects, by all fix a wootsi, who gulung say. Otherwise, young in zao lena pro pace. Some MPs applauded government for projects that are currently ongoing to better the road infrastructure in Eswatini. For Eswatini TV News, Sondom Langini, Muzum Konda, Parliament. The Eswatini Enterprise Development Company's Managing Director, Ketiwa Mklanga, says they are empowering young entrepreneurs to ensure that in the future they are able to own big retailers. Mklanga was speaking during a training for the youth entrepreneurs held at the ministry's offices. The Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Trade, through the Micro, Medium and Small Business Enterprise Department, is working with SEDCO to train youth entrepreneurs from different sectors in the country. Speaking during the closing meeting, said Cost Managing Director Ketu Mklanga says financial literacy is one of the crucial aspects that entrepreneurs need. business, your reputation is everything. If I know, for example, Nangabo Uvele are into farming. I know what to do produce and cabbish and the nang tell us talk from you who does deliver on time and it will be the same quality. That reputation, it means I'll give you more orders and then I'll meet you'll be able to supply again for my company. And we want to see you guys being in our retail shops. Police Wa Jamini from the Minister of Commerce encourage young people to voice out their concerns over some policies that need to be reviewed for them to thrive.
and go increase the finances and lead. Kuna guarantee scheme, kuna youth fund, kuna RTF, ukulumenge collaboration je pumzi. E RTF ifuna kuti mbumba, imali lo itola mahala le, ye grant utunga itola, au tatu gute lege gwende leona, ai kaneli geona, na 20 million nunga mtola, na adbole timpole, but it's nene nene kuti nende njani, ni bambisani. Logu nyele futere nguati, wego tuna nukuboto ma business. Ya ten kuti you've got the power, Sibusiso Lamini, representing the entrepreneurs, says young people need aftercare programs as well as funding for them to be able to sustain their businesses. When I'm going to aftercare, after all, it's for the demand. If we have a good one, we will business a good one. We will have are very, very stiff for SME and for SMEs and for medium, small business. Young people were also encouraged to work with what they have and also to work collectively. For Eswati Nitiv News on Domlangeni, Babane. The Chief Executive Office of the Swatun Communications Commission in Vilawambilamini urges online teaching graduates to create online content, especially for learners with disabilities, since there is a gap on social media. The Chief Executive Officer was represented by Director of Technical Services Tulan Fagutse during the graduation ceremony for online learning educators at the University of Swatini. The Chief Executive Officer of Eswatini Communications Commission, Vilawe MP Lamini, says in accordance with their three-year strategy, they will continue to support programs and initiatives aimed at bridging the digital divide. The Chief Executive Officer was represented by the Director of Technical Services, Tulani Fagudze, during the graduation ceremony of online learning educators at the University of Eswatini Waluseni campus. We are very excited about this many or large number of what we will now consider going forward as our online content developers because the skills in as far as we are concerned that you learned the you, you, you can limit yourself and say you will apply this uh, for educational content, but the skills that you learned are skills that you can apply on the development of any form of content and make that content available online. And, and, and that is the big gap that we see in the market, and that is what really uh, uh, the concern is from, from, from the participants and stakeholders in the market. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Justice Twala, says the skills that have been imparted to the educators are of necessity. I also wish to thank the Institute of Distance Education, working with the assistance from the Commonwealth of Learning for designing, developing, and implementing the certificate on online teaching for educators, a short course program. Of course, this short course allows educators from Eswatini and beyond to transition to online teaching and learning, partly in response to COVID-19 pandemic and any other pandemic that may come in future, and also any disruption that we may have as a country Kepsile Ngumalo, a senior inspector at the Ministry of Education and Training, says online learning skills will help them even during the times when the country faces situations where class learning is impossible. She says they will now use blended learning. The course learner it is negate Emma skills neluati leguti singa shinchaganjani kufunza kwebanza na kuti sisense online you know uh, teaching blended learning and shoganjal with the emphasis on online teaching. No ma gunes lagalo no magute no basang yon and lela velelek fun fangai. In total one hundred and ten educators graduated with twenty having been sponsored by Eswatini Communications Commission. For Eswatini TV News, Nelson Langamanda with Mbongwa Dube Gwaluseni.
The Office of the Master of the High Court has had a workshop to capacitate officers uh, on customer services and professionalism. The Master of the High Court, uh, Pumzile Tomo, says they've received numerous complaints from their clients. Hence, they need to remind officers about the importance of professionalism uh, or professional contact uh, conduct at the workplace. Following multiple complaints on how Emaswati are treated by the officers of the Master of the High Court, the Office of the Master of the High Court had a workshop with officers to capacitate them on customer service and professionalism. Master of the High Court Pumzile Tomo says they work with Emaswati on a daily basis, therefore it is important to treat them with respect and professionalism. <laughs> So Chief Justice the master of the high court says they will work in collaboration with the judiciary on how to handle inheritance cases in the wake of new legislation that seeks to harmonize matrimonial properties. Reporting for Eswatini News, I am Nomfundos Melane with Mbongwa Tube Ezuluini. McBillionaire Swarton has had a session with booksellers at the Happy Valley Hotel where they were looking at progress and challenges that have engulfed the bookselling business. McMillan sales and marketing manager Mangoba Slongonyane says the company is working on digital migration where they will have uh, to convert their textbooks to e-books. The sales and marketing manager Mangoba Slongonyane says they are working towards converting all textbooks to e-books. Sihlongyane said this in a meeting they held in collaboration with booksellers where they were reviewing their business progress and also to look into ways in which they can improve. I am a member of the company who is a member of the Macmillan, <laughs> Israel Similana, who is one of the booksellers, says Macmillan assists them significantly. Similana explained that one of the biggest challenges they face is the issue of delay in payments from schools. However, he pleaded with other booksellers to be patient as they work hand in hand with schools. My challenge is that because we Scholars on time, Macmillan Galapa Ofuna Spatale on time. The Macmillan company is working on digital migration and wishes to convert all textbooks to e-books. Reporting for Eswatini TV News is no Jabulo Makakola with Mbonga Dube in Zuluini. And coming in from the High Court, there's yet another postponement in the matter between Apostle Justice Lamini and Prophet uh, Muzim Kemetelo, Elijah Fayam Kacho. The matter had to proceed today, but it did not since uh, the Prophet's lawyer is indisposed. Now, the matter has now been postponed to the 22nd of August 2022. This is the second time this matter is being postponed. It was set to proceed today, however... Defense lawyer Mlulek in Langamandla was indisposed. The matter was first postponed last month after Apostle Justice Lamini's lawyer, Stumo Mlala, was indisposed. 
The matter has since been postponed to the 22nd of August. The matter has only been heard by the court once, where Apostle Justice took the stand and narrated his side of the story. Apostle Justice told the court that Prophet Elijah Fire had accused him of having a snake with a human head and hair. Apostle Justice also told the court that the prophet accused him of bribing a journalist to write stories about him. The complainant is suing the defendant 10 million Nemalangeni. Prophet Elijah Fire is yet to respond to these allegations in court. What is expected when the matter returns to court is that the defense will cross-examine Apostle Justice. This matter is before Judge Zonke Makakula. For Swatini TV News, Temgosi Mavimbela, High Court. Right now, let's take a look at our financial indexes and take a look at our financial report. Standard Bank. It can be. Welcome back. You're still with the news bulletin at 8 at Swatton TV. Thank you so much for choosing to stay with us. We shall now take a look at news making headlines in the world of sports. Islam Usamnegati have crashed out of all Kusafa tournaments after going down to 2 0 at the hands of Botswana during the semi finals of the Kusafa plate at the Shukari Klulu Stadium in Durban. Fabrice Simpsonera has more on that story. The Football Association's president, Peter Smelani, says despite Slango's early exit in this year's Kosafa Cup, the team has showed character and strength and uh, was amongst the best uh, to watch in, in this year's tournament. Now, Smelani says the team has gained a lot of experience that will come in handy in the future tournaments. A Swatini Football Association president, Peter Smelani, says the performance displayed by Slango Semenigati in this year's Kosafa Cup is indeed a sign that local football has grown. Simirane, who has been watching the team closely since day one in the tournament, says despite failing to reach the semi-finals, dedication and hard work from the team has been noted. No, the, 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 the team is good, you know, and uh, the coach managed to select uh, players who play very well and they are not fr frightened, they are football players, and you can tell that uh, this is a good team Going forward, if the coach can stick uh, with these players, uh, yeah, uh, we can surprise one or two of the big guns, so big countries, yeah. No, uh, football in Etetswatini, it's uh, growing very well. You can tell that even the clubs which uh, represent uh, Swaziland uh, International, they are also doing well. So the boys are gaining uh, exposure, international exposure. That is why they are doing well. Even the local uh, leagues, uh, there's competition. So everybody enjoy playing football in Swaziland. Simirani says the performance will assist in the upcoming Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers. In the history of Sihlangu, they have played 10 quarterfinals since 1999, only proceeding to the semifinals twice in 2016 and in 2021. For Swatin TV Sports, Fabi Sumsonera in the Republic of South Africa, Durban. Well, with those sports news, that uh, brings us to the home stretch of the news bulletin at 88 at Swatin TV. But before we go, here's a quick reminder of our top stories tonight. His Majesty King Swat III says His Majesty's Correctional Services Department is a true example of having modernized and developed infrastructure. The Minister of Tourism and Environmental Affairs says merging humanitarian services and tourism can have a positive impact as it can result in increased visits by tourists into the country. And the Chief Executive Office of the Swatin Communications Commission in Vlaoen Bidlamini urges online teaching graduates to create online content, especially for learners with disabilities. Beautiful Kingdom of Eswatan, we have come to the conclusion of our new news bulletin at 8 at Eswatan TV. Thank you so much indeed for choosing to stay with us. We shall now cross over to the Weather Centre for a detailed weather report from us and the rest of the crew at Eswatan TV. For now, it's good night and God bless.
Congo, and I'm running on the long enough my chin. I was watching. Angin beleni ne ba mswati lomi yama global tuli. Etelwe ni leti puma evu kosin. Zweli masugu uyagbengele la pinze. Agu mugele gulo selo. Kuleti puma evu kosin maswati la mate. Nda solo ngkubega ge maswati la mate. Nikule tela nuna lhambo lwa sosilo se mklaba ingo se mswati we statum. Njenga lo ngwe tembi silige maswati la mate na sevi inle pile kuti. Nda ukubega ge na lo lhambo la yule ngwe nyamba ye maswati. Nyeskati ge 